Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my February BoxyCharm video. I did one for January, I edited it, and then I never even posted it. So here I am, I'm gonna be doing February. Hopefully I post it because I'm really bad at posting them. Usually the reason why I never end up posting my BoxyCharm videos is because I always get my BoxyCharm like the 15th or so. Today's the 13th, um, but I get my BoxyCharm really late. So by the time I get to add, like editing it, then it's like late and then I procrastinate and Anyway, so I'm gonna actually try to upload this one this time. Usually I try not to look and see what I'm getting, but basically I had the six month subscription and then it ended. And then I was trying to see if I wanted to get BoxyCharm again, which I thought that I was going to, but like I wasn't for sure. So I looked to see what the February like spoilers were. And before I even made up my mind, they re renewed my subscription automatically. So here I am, got the six month subscription again. So here we are with the February box. I know some things in it, but there's like two two-ish things that I am not sure like what I'm getting. Anyway, let me go ahead and explain what BoxyCharm is if you don't know what it is, and then I'll get into unboxing it. Basically, if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it's a subscription service where they send you one of these boxes every month, and it's like $21, or it's like $116 for six months, and then for a year, I'm not exactly sure how much it is, but yeah, so it's supposed to be like over $100 retail value in every one of these boxes, but you're only getting it for like $21 dollars a month so you're getting a really good deal and it's fun because if you don't look then you don't know what you're getting and I don't know it's interesting and I really like boxy charm and I would definitely recommend it I will leave a link down below it's not an affiliate link or anything but if you want to get boxy charm you should use my link because then I get more charms and that means more free stuff so I'm actually really excited for this month here we go all right this theme for this month is afterglow so here is the first thing and this came in everyone's box this month and this is the touch and soul no pore bloom primer it's like no problem no pore bloom you get it smooth and pore covering primer and i think this is gonna be really cool oh i thought it was like a dropper okay this is like a squirt bottle i think i'm really gonna like this because i like these types of primers it doesn't really like have a crazy smell. Yeah, it seems nice. It seems like kind of moisturizing, which I have oily skin, but we'll have to see how it works. Create a seamless canvas for your foundation with your new Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. The light silky texture blurs pores and wrinkles, giving your skin a soft velvet feel. Green tea and collagen act as adhesives, holding on tight to your makeup for many hours of flawlessness. This retails for $18, so. Okay, the next thing that I got was the Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. I'm actually like running out of cleanser, so I guess it's cool that I got this. Also, all the things in BoxyCharm are full size. This retails for $22. This says it soothes and hydrates your skin while lifting dirt, excess oil, impurities, grime, and makeup. Your Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser was made for daily use, keeping those with sensitive skin in mind. It is formulated with naturally derived ingredients like coconut, sugar, amino acid, and a powerful botanical blend of turmeric, chamomile, calendula, aloe, and licorice root. I can't really smell it. Oh, that's definitely because there's a seal. Oh, that smells really good. It smells like lavender. Next. So this, I'm actually like, I'm not that excited about it because I didn't really like want this, but this is the Tressy Trustee, Trustique, I don't know how exactly you say it. But this retails for $25 and it's, I guess, a two-in-one lip duo. So it looks like this. So we got the pencil side, which that's not the actual pencil, but then there's a, also a primer. So this is what the primer is. So that's cool because I don't like have anything like that. And then the other side is the lip pencil type thing. Not really a shade that I'm super interested in. It seems to be nice. It's not like super super duper pigmented so this is cool but i don't see myself really using this that much it says it's a two-in-one lip doer that features luxurious lip smoothing primer on one side and a shiny colored glaze on the other the priming side smooths lips and glides on like a balm creating a super smooth canvas the color glade glaze effortlessly glides onto your lips to leave behind a pop of soft shiny color so it's like more like a balm but like a pigmented balm that makes any sense. And the next thing is another thing that everyone got in their box, which is the Too Faced BTS mascara. This is my favorite mascara, and if you don't know, this is like $20 just by itself, and the whole box is like $21, so that's like 
you should get this box just for this because it's my favorite one and I've got this is like probably my fifth one of these and I've gone through all of my other ones and I just haven't had it for a while so I'm really glad to get back into it I love the wand I love everything about this mascara so I'm so glad that this came in the box. Retails for $24 and it says an indulgent mascara that actually lives up to its name. The Too Faced BTS mascara separates coats and curls each lash to voluptuous perfection. Uh, Aki, Akaika? Akakia? Senegal tree extract sets volume while film forming polymers lock your lashes into a perfect curl That was really confusing, but it's a great mascara So I recommend and the very last thing in the box is this pretty vulgar Highlighter this one is in the shade shimmering swan and it looks like this. I think the packaging is really cute It's a pretty shade too. I like this shade. Ooh, that is really pretty it looks like it's gonna be like, I don't know. It looks like it's more subtle. But like, it's really pretty. I like the shade a lot. This is $32 and it says, allow your skin to capture the light of any room you walk into with this unique velvety smooth highlighter infused with glow loving light perfecting, no, light reflecting and pearlescent pigments. This highlighter will give you the skin give your skin the perfect amount of brightness anyway that is all of the things that i got in my boxy charm this month there was one thing that was oh gosh hey why no oh, okay anyway like i was saying that is it for this boxy charm there was one thing in box in the boxy charm like one of the items that you could have gotten that i was really hoping to get but it's okay it was the sol de janeiro something or another their lotion it was like the coconut one and that one i've been wanting to try for a long time and i tried it on sephora and i loved it so i was hoping that it was going to come in the box but it's okay but overall i think this was a pretty good box i love that this is in the box like it, that's already good enough for me and then everything else seems good also if you want more boxy charm videos make sure to let me know because i will definitely do them anyway thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much don't forget to comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye